In this video, I will show you how to delete a Facebook business page linked to your account. So let's jump straight into it. So in order to do this, the first thing you're going to want to do is come across to facebook.com and log into your personal account. Once you've logged in, you want to come to this menu on the left hand side and you want to scroll down to the pages option here. Give that a click to see all your current pages. And what you can do is choose the business page from here that you want to delete. So as you can see, I've got quite a few different pages. What I'm going to do is just go ahead and select this one here. Next, what you want to do is come to this menu on the left hand side. You can see we're now on our business page and you want to click on settings. It might be grayed out, in which case when you click on it, it's going to ask you to switch to this page. So what you want to do is press the blue switch button. And as you can see, it's now taking us to this screen here. From here, what you're going to want to do is again, come over to the left hand side and you want to click on to privacy. So from this screen, what you're now going to want to do is come to this menu on the left hand side and you should now see an option called Facebook page information. So if you click onto this and from here, you're going to see the option at the very bottom for deactivation and deletion. So what you're going to want to do is come to this option, come to the right hand side and press the blue view link here. From here, you've got two options. What you can do is just temporarily deactivate your page. But of course, to delete your page, you're going to want to select this option here. So what it says is you won't be able to retrieve the content or information you've shared on Facebook as this page your messenger and all of your messages will also be deleted. So if you're happy to go ahead, just come down and press the blue continue button. And what you can do at this point is you can actually download all your information, which I would highly recommend doing as this does download all your content. So for example, for this one, you can see the page has three photos, 10 posts and more uploaded to Facebook. So what we can actually do is download all the Facebook page information before we continue to delete our page. Once you've done that, come down and press the blue continue button at the bottom. And next, it's just going to ask you to enter your password. So you just want to do that next. Once that's done, what you can do is press the blue continue button just down here. And what it's going to do is come up with a pop-up confirmation saying you're about to permanently delete your page. If you're ready to delete, click the delete page button. Once you submit your page for deletion, you do have 30 days to reactivate your page and cancel the deletion. However, after 30 days, the deletion process will begin and you will not be able to retrieve any of the content or information you have added. So when you actually go ahead and submit this request, you do have a sort of 30 day calling off period, which if you do change your mind, you can reactivate your page. However, if you want to fully delete your page, you need to wait until after 30 days and then that's gonna go ahead and be deleted. So all you wanna do is press the blue continue button. And after a minute, what's gonna happen, it's gonna take you back to your personal Facebook profile. And if we come over to the left hand side, and I'm just gonna click on to see more and come down to pages. As you can see, that business page has now disappeared. So it's in the process of being deleted. Now you can see if you look over on the right hand side, there is a section here which says deactivated pages. So if you do decide to change your mind and it's within the 30 day period, what you can do is come across this screen, press activate to re-enable your page. So that is how to delete a Facebook business page linked to your account. With that being said, I hope this quick tutorial did help you out today. And if this did help you out, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute. Thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.